Hello, thank you for joining me on Word of Inspiration. My name is Dr. Bertha Sewa Ai, and I present Word of Inspiration, a program that is designed to encourage and motivate you in your daily living. Today, the title of my message is The Shepherd's Voice. My text is taken from Psalm 95, verses 7 and 8, and it simply says, For we are his people. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the day of provocation when the people tempted me in the wilderness. My hope is that by the end of this message, you will understand that you are in the hand of a mighty God, that if you keep listening to his voice, in contradiction to all other voices, God will get you to your place of destination, a place of rest. So my text is taken from Psalm 95, like I said, and as you read the beginning of Psalm 95, the Bible gives very simple instruction. It says, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise unto the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto the Lord our God. Then it goes on to list who God is. The Bible says that the seas are his. The deep places of the hills are his. The lands are his. Everything is his. He is a great king above all things. And so we should come before his presence with thanksgiving because we are his sheep. So we are the sheep of a mighty God. I don't know if you've ever stood at a beach to observe the might of the ocean and the waves. Or you visited Yellowstone Park or looked at the Grand Canyon where you see the might of the hills and the might of the deep places of the earth. The Bible says that all these things belong to God, and yet he chooses to love you. He chooses to take you as his sheep. But sheep need to hear the shepherd's voice. Otherwise, they're not his sheep. In the book of John chapter 10, Jesus describes that he is the good shepherd. He said, there is a thief who also comes in and pretends to be the good shepherd. But that thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he has come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. If you read the rest of John chapter 10, Jesus talks about how the, sheep, the, the, the thief will come in through the window. But he comes in through the door. And in, in verse 27, he says, My sheep hear my voice, and they follow me. Today, do you hear God's voice? He speaks to you every day. The simplest is in Psalm 95 where he says, make a joyful noise unto him. Today, as you listen to this, just pause for a moment and make a joyful noise and come before him with thanksgiving. You know, it's so easy to come before God with all the complaints and everything that is not working. If God is God, why is this happening? I need this. I don't have that. This is going wrong in my life. It's so, it's, it's so easy to come before God with everything that is not working. But what about the times when he saved you? How about making a joyful noise or when he was the rock of your salvation? That is what I'm talking about, the shepherd's voice. There are other areas where God's voice speaks to us. Sometimes he wants you to forgive someone. Sometimes he wants you to give something to someone. Sometimes he wants you to go somewhere or start something. And he's going to prompt you very gently to start that thing. But sometimes we harden our hearts, just like when we were children. Or if you have children, sometimes you hear a parent, all right, but you decide, I'm not going to listen to that. I know the right way, and I'm going to do this, sometimes with not so pleasant consequences. But the shepherd has a voice, and he speaks to you. Today, what is God ministering to you about? What is he prompting you? Maybe he's asking you to just hum thanksgiving. Oh, just say hallelujah. Just thank him for everything that is going on in your life and thank him that you have life. Would you listen to that voice today? It is the shepherd's voice. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and they know it and they follow it. Today you will hear many voices. If you turn on the radio or the television or you go on the internet, there'll be many voices asking you and telling you to do many things. But among all these voices, learn to hear the shepherd's voice. In the day of provocation, 12 people were sent to the promised land to go and look at it. A 
And just to come back with a report, 10 of those men chose to let the Israelites be afraid and say, whoa, the land which we passed through to search it, we cannot, we be not able, we're like grasshoppers. They caused the people to disbelieve and God got really upset. Somebody will say, why didn't God just override all this unbelief and do what he wanted to do? But he needed them to believe, to believe in him. Maybe you're at that point. God wants you to trust in him with an area of your life and focus on today. Today, if you will hear his voice, don't harden your heart. What are you needing to believe God for? Are you walking in doubt because of the things you see, hear, touch, and feel? Or are you letting your spirit believe in him, trust in him, and walk according to his word? Today, if you're hearing God's voice, don't postpone it till tomorrow. Maybe God is even asking you to commit your life to him. Maybe you've never given your life to Christ. You've never submitted to the voice to even go to church. You've stopped going to church for whatever reason. Or you've never stepped into a church room. Today, I want to encourage you that God loves you. If you hear his voice, it is the shepherd's voice. Don't harden your hearts. Submit to that voice. And if you've never given your life to Christ, as we pray, I want you to join us to pray. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for your voice. It is the shepherd's voice. It is the voice that plans to lead us beside the still waters. It is the voice that plans to lead us to green pastures. It is the voice that plans to restore our soul. Give us what it takes to submit to the spirit. Give us what it takes to submit to your voice. Give us what it takes to hear the voice of your spirit. And if there's anyone listening to me today who has never submitted their love to Christ, I pray that you will fill their hearts with your peace. Lead them to read your word that they might give their lives and submit their lives completely to you. This is what I ask with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, say these words up to me. I'm a winner. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and never beneath. Today, I will win at everything I do because I've been programmed to succeed. Today, you are more than a conqueror. You are the head and not the tail. Believe it. Today, the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his countenance to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. This has been Dr. Bertha Ayi. Please join me next time. God richly bless you.